Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Testing Help. This video is a continuation of um, assertion methods in TestNG and how to implement them along with Selenium. Now, in the last video, uh, we were discussing about assert true, assert false, and assert equals method and how to implement these assertion methods in your test case validation. Uh, in today's video, we will be discussing about assert not equals, assert null, assert not null. We will look into it with examples and how to implement it uh, for each of the test cases. Uh, let's have a look on these assertions now. Now we'll start with assert not equals. Before discussing that, uh, let me give you an idea of assert equals. You already know that assert equals method tests the equality of two data values, right? It verifies whether two values are equal. So what does assert not equals do? just the opposite of assert equals so assert not equals verifies if two data values are not equal so that is what this assertion method does so let let us see this functionality with an example now now let's start with the third test case it says verify pin codes are unique so when you read at the test steps it um, first you navigate to chenniiq.com and then you compare any two location and make sure that the pin codes are unique. So this is the assertion that I need to perform, which means I select two pin codes from the list and then I assert whether they are not same. OK, so now let me show you um, this particular test case manually now. So this is the website that we were talking about. So from the list, you can see that all pin codes are unique, right? For each location, you have a unique pin code. So from here, I just take any two pin codes. Say I take the second pin code, 88, and then I take the 12th one, 29. I just take these two pin codes and I will compare to make sure they are not equal. To make sure that each pin code is unique, I just compare any two pin codes and assert that they are not equal. So for this assertion, what do you think um, the assertion method I should choose? What do you think the assertion method I should be choosing? So for this verification of uh, pin codes, wherein uh, the pin code should be unique, I will consider assert not equals method because I already told that assert not equals verifies whether two data values are not equal. In other words, they are unique. Okay, so for this uh, uh, test case, I will handle the validation using assert not equals method. Uh, now let's start writing the test steps. Let, uh, let's start scripting them and then we'll start uh, writing the assertion assertion or the validation part now. Okay. Now here I already have a class created. So I have an at before test wherein I'm initiating my Chrome driver and then in at after test method I have closed my driver and I have a method called at test. Here is where my execution will start and I will start writing or scripting my test steps of my test case here. So now let me script the test cases. Sorry, the test steps for my test case now. So now that I have scripted my test steps, uh, first I'm opening the website chenniiq.com. OK, and then I'm getting the uh, pin code of two web elements. So let me open the website side by side. OK. So I got the pin code of two web elements, this one. And I'm saving it in a data in a web element variable. And another pin code is. Another pin code is amjigurai. So let me show it to you now. So here you can see I took the web element of this pin code and I stored it in a variable. Similarly, this pin code, I took it and store it in another variable. So now that I've stored the web elements, next I need to get the content inside that web element. So to get the content, I have a method called get text. So from the web element, I get the content using get text method and this will return a string. So that string, I'm storing it in a variable called pin code one. So this string will be nothing but this text, this text 
entirely will be stored in the string similarly the second web element which is uh, this pin code 29 i am getting the text or the content and i am storing it in another string variable okay so now i have two pin codes stored in two separate string variables pin code 1 and pin code 2 okay next i need to perform validation i need to validate whether these two pin codes are not same or not equal so for that i am going to use my assert not equals method let me start validating now so i call the method as um, class assert and in that i call my method assert not equals so in the actual and actual and the, i want an actual two parameters i will pass both my pin codes that i got from my automation so pin code one and pin code two so here what will happen is that the assert method will compare values inside these two pin code and see whether they are not equal if they are not equal my assertion will pass and my test case will give a success okay so this is how assert not equals works let me add one more uh, print statement here and i'll run this entire test case now so now i'll run it as test ng run as test ng now my chrome browser is getting opened chennaiq.com website is getting invoked and now it should assert for two values of pin code so you can see that my uh, test case has passed and when i look at the console uh, you see my two uh, pin codes printed so since i've uh, printed my two pin codes in system.out.println and these two i have it in my console okay you see that the two pin codes are different and hence when i compared it or when i made an assert not equals since they were not equal my test case passed my assertion passed and it continued to the next step wherein the statement got printed saying verified pin codes are unique okay so what happened first i went to my website i got two pin codes and i stored in separate variables and then i made an assert not equals to make sure that these two pin codes are not same or not equal so since these were not same you can print it in the console and see what pin code you get they are not same and hence my assertion passed and it proceed to the next step of execution okay so this is how assert not equals works wherein it asserts that two data values are not equal okay whereas in assert equals it verifies the equality of two data values just the opposite of assert not equals so as simple as that so let me show you the same method with assert equals so let me put assert equals here instead of not equals so here you can see i have just changed my assertion method so here it will try to assert if my two pin codes are equal but since they will be unique they will not be equal my assertion will fail at this point okay and uh, it will not proceed to my next step it will just fail here and throw an exception in the console now let me run this method uh, um, test case and show it to you run as test ng chrome browser is getting opened chennai iq is getting invoked now it should assert yeah you saw that it encountered a failure so when you look at the console you'll see an assertion error so here you see the two pin codes printed 6088 and 29 since these two are different when i say assert equals of these two pin code my assertion failed at this point and threw an exception saying assertion error okay so uh, since i had an assertion error it didn't proceed to the next step of execution so it's halted it, it halted the execution here itself it didn't proceed to the next step this is how assert equals works so i i hope you got an understanding of assert equals and not equals next, next we'll discuss about assert null and assert not null